Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hotdog and we are playing Imperator Rome, we're playing as Athens, the resurgence of Athens. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow climb, more than a sudden resurgence, but we, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. This guy wants a role in government, Anaxocrates, Anaxocrated, okay. Yeah, hmm, he's the leader of the religious party. Really? Just faction. Okay. I think what I can do is I can just give him military command. So he's... What? Um, I can make him an admiral, I guess. Yeah, over here. So, that'll do something, I hope. Right. He should be happy now. Ooh, and I got 80 influence. That means I can actually invest this into... Ooh, yeah, nice. We'll get 40 bucks. I'm just going to invest this into another trade route. I think I should just go for two more trade routes and then ditch the policy. That gives us two of these. I think it's worth more if we just go and um, bump the income, I think. Yeah, that's probably best. So, uh, I don't like that Macedon is so strong. Like, that's just not my ideal thing. And they are, I mean, these guys are kicking Pergamon. I mean, Macedon is busy now. The other annoying thing is that in no, in no Paradox game can you actually attack these dudes if you, if you're in a war with them on the same side. That is actually a real problem. Like, this would be the perfect time for me to backstep free here and be like, yeah, you know, whatever. Goodbye. And now I can't do it because I'm part of the war officially. I mean, maybe I can just separate piece out. Is that a thing? I'm a vassal, right? I can never do this. This would be super weird. November 68. We can, we can just check. We can check what that does. I mean, they're also not gonna... Oh, no such state. Okay, that's a bit weird. Olympic Games. That's St. Democrates. I don't have high hopes. This is mainly governed by martial skill. I don't think that's really gonna do anything for us here. The Kayakos the Slay. For the last few days, the dark corners of the Senate House have been abuzz with the whispers of huddled relics resembling senators. An ambitious freedman of the Libertini has managed to make his way from the allies of Oropos to the assembly in Athenae, winning local elections with wide popular support. Whether his success can be attributed to merit or more nefarious means has been a hot topic among his detractors, but in any case, the Kayakos and his supporters are demanding he be granted an office befitting his talents. Naturally, the more traditional members of the house are loath to tolerate his presence at all and feel the promotion of former slaves demeans the nobility such as it is. Um, we really don't want to give the populists a lot of support. Hmm, that's gonna get me unpopular, but it's gonna give me political influence. This is gonna give me corruption, but also civic faction influence. Hmm, yeah, we're not gonna interfere and we'll take the political influence. It's actually pretty valuable for us trying to build up our territories. If you're a big country, you kinda don't wanna do this. Ooh! What, they rejected my peace treaty? Now, come on. Yeah, the other thing that is new with patch 1.2 is that they took the offering for of gold out, which is just mega weird. You can no longer offer or receive gold in a peace treaty. I apparently they did that because they have to to because they made gold some sort of um, <clears throat> power thing now, where you can get uh, bonuses from gold. But come on, that's not really an argument to take out gold from peace treaties. That's just plain weird. 
not to have that. It's just wrong. Come on. Uh, leader of the faction commonly concerned with matters civic has proposed a potentially favorable deal. In return for a brief tax relief on the wealthy, he assures us that we can rely on the support of a portion of the fac civic faction. Uh, what? Five years and 10% less tax? Uh, how about you just go and screw yourself, eh? Yeah, I think this guy actually really had the governorship go to his head. I don't think he's a good candidate. I think we'll get rid of him. Oh no, this guy is part of the populists. I don't like it. Hmm... We'll give this guy the, the job. That's all right. So we're almost there for another trade route. <clears throat> and we're almost at two political influence. That's actually uh, a lot. I've been not able to get as much political influence as other countries. It's probably the democracies that are giving us more. Can keep people happy for a decent amount of time. Okay, let's go more business investments. Aha! And more inventions. Okay, discipline, wet marine discipline, navy maintenance cost reduction. Sweet. Oh, was the navy maintenance? No, it was not automatically set up. Yeah, we've got religious advances. Oh, I got the do not disturb my circles. Yeah, I haven't really been playing with, um... I haven't really been playing with achievements normally. Um, I don't really play with Iron Man because of recording things, but for this one, I thought make it more interesting. Never want to challenge the status quo or even to do anything remotely considered interesting. Nesidemos. Nesidemid has been elected Archon by a slim majority of dull buffoons in Weinstein Togas. <laughs> It would be fair to say, perhaps, that Mnesidemos does not hold the confidence of the people in the same manner as the stoic rulers of old. Ah, uh, time will see this division healed. Poor popular support. People simply love circuses. Execute some of them, they'll come around. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Kill them all. <laughs> Uh, if I see a crazy choice like that, I just have to take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm a monster. You don't have to say it. Oh, we're getting some. We're getting some good commanders here. Take this guy. He looks. Oh, how sad. A party leader of the populists died. Hmm. How could this happen? I'm so sorry. Oh, we're at 190 percent now. In terms of uh, research, do we really need this? I kind of like to have more money so I can hire mercenaries for when we need it. House is coming along. So, code experience is 34. So, yeah, it doesn't actually matter how big your army is. Right? Ooh! Veterans moves on and Athens gets state-owned farmlands. The prime farmland granted to veterans of battle is a simple recognition of their service to Athens. Sometimes, however, the lure of battles and glory can prove too much for those unaccustomed to a life of menial labor. A recent bad winter caused those working the fields to up and leave, hoping to find better work in our armies, leaving a vast tract of arable land unclaimed. We've reappropriated it to better serve our flourishing state. Plus 15% tax in Athens? Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so people want military access. Sure, you can trample through my land, you barbarians. Um, Economy-wise, we want to go for import value. Yeah, that does give us a bit of an income boost. Ah, yeah, just didn't want to lose the gemstones or the papyrus. Just hope we never find us in a war with Egypt. That would be kind of annoying. Frigia taking back that chunk of Pergamon. 
I don't know. Yeah, we can let Race move through, I guess. What? He's been killed. Democorus has been killed. No. I've been informed that Democorus Demosthenes was found brutally murdered in his home last night. The investigators have reported that a rusty spike was used in the crime. A device known to be favored by Nesdemos Nesdemit, however. However, we have no hard evidence. It was us? We, we killed this guy? No, I liked him. Oh, mean. I mean, I, I, I removed him as... Uh, as governor, and he was not very loyal, but I mean, it's because this guy is, a, is our ruler now. He's incompetent. <sighs> he was assassinated. No, that's not how we do politics, guys. That's not right. You're doing this wrong. What are they trying to do? Fort overtake Achaia. Ah. This kind of sucks. Mastodon's getting very strong. That's a real problem. We have a lot of tyranny by just executing those people in the first place. <laughs> we have a Minister of Excellence, though. Uh, in a fine display of financial acumen, he's made significant alterations to the national budget. Yeah, let's take those 10% additional tax. Do I... Yeah, okay, someone of the mercantile faction is gonna come to power, that's alright. Ah, <sighs> look at this. Look at Macedon, just absolutely wrecking face. Commerce income, I like it. Low building costs and citizen output. Hell yeah, that's gonna help us. Um, so we have 12. No, oh, we're assimilating a, a Jewish Hebrew citizen uh, to becoming an Athenian. It's probably the same citizen who's also converting. Uh, we're growing a Jewish Hebrew freeman though. We're demoting a Athenian citizen to a freeman, really. A Hellenic Athenian slave will be promoted to freeman with 40%. Ah, we have too many we have too many citizens. That's not really what I want though. I don't want to lose citizens. Yeah, we sent this guy, he's got decent military skill. Um We have to build another library here. To increase the fraction of citizens. I really don't want to lose my I really don't want to lose the citizens. Ooh, trade wins. Hmm. Although I could also push Redop to gain more pops. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. It's really difficult to get pops in here. One of the problems is that the piracy, or like the, the slave collection, is still um, a problem in that it just happens to the capital. So our capital is gonna be filled, but we, we have no way of moving slaves from our mainland holdings to those islands. Um, other than switching this, uh, our capital to this, which is uh, pretty expensive. So, yeah, hmm. But maybe we can just do something with population growth here. Maybe get some grain from Egypt. Hey. Okay, we have one granary, one academy, one temple. What else do we want? A fortress might not be bad. Just defend this place a little. It is a city after all. Whereas this is still a settlement. I should probably actually upgrade this to a city. Now that I come to think of it. Okay, let's do that. We are missing someone for martial advances. Okay. Getting all that up. We still have plenty of money. And we're almost there to be able to invest in another trade route. Which is kind of nice. Or do we want to take one of the others? 
I'm not sure about uh, install the provincial procurators. Sometimes I do it, but the capital province doesn't really need increased loyalty, because it's always loyal. A feast for castes. The residents of Lemnos are holding a celebration in honor of their much-loved governor, renowned for his beneficence, tolerance, and common sense. Okay. Yeah, sure. On with the celebrations. Yeah, our researcher was killed in a freak accident. I wonder what he was... Maybe he was testing a theory or something? What is a freak accident, exactly? Like in those times. Was he, like, impaled on a, on, on a spear that he was juggling, or...? Okay, let's go... More import routes. At some point, we'll probably also have to start pushing the building slots. Uh, it's gonna be pretty important to... Sure, march through my lands. Well, whatever, come on. God, yeah. I mean, Thrace likes me. Maybe I can pull off an alliance with Thrace or something against Macedon. The problem really is that Macedon might just want to destroy me. Some issues tend to divide the house, and more so than foreign policy. Was I was being debated in the Senate, uh, Nicocles Nicoclid approached our Archon and offered the support of a large portion of the populist faction. The cost of the support was left unspoken, but we should be aware of how this might affect us in the future. Um, no. Thanks. I don't want to be indebted to the populace. It's not a good idea. Mm, this guy got better stats. Yes, sweet. National commerce income also gets boosted. I like it. Brrr, I want someone very loyal here. Like you. Xenon. Okay, welcome to the government. Ah, oh, we're almost at two. I, I guess if everyone's mega loyal, you get two. Mm, yeah. So, the production gets changed to glass. Uh, Imbros becomes a city. But the problem really is now uh, that we're gonna have some food issues here, since we're no longer producing any food naturally, really. Maybe it's not a bad idea that we won't be able to get a lot of population out to this place. I don't know. Golden Academy. Library. Anything else that we need here? Oh, the marketplace, maybe. The Civic Faction and the Makata Faction have often been at odds. Nonetheless, um, their leader has approached us with an olive branch, offering a limited amount of cooperation in return for the vague suggestion of a future favor. How could we possibly refuse? <laughs> Oh, I don't really need anything from them right now. Yeah, no. I don't want it. I don't want to be indebted to anyone. How's our research going? 216%? We can only get it to a max of, max of 300%, but we can definitely try to push this. But I think I'm just keeping pushing the, the tax for now. How much are we waking on tax? Five. So we're making as much tax as we're making on commerce, but we can import things now. We want some grain? Stone could actually be useful. Do we have any stone here in this? No. Okay. Could go marble. I'm not sure if we need the fort defense, but I mean, if we had a surplus in the capital, it would reduce our build cost everywhere. We already have grain, yeah. Monthly food modifier. Hmm. Yeah, we can just get it from the Nile Delta. I mean, in the long term, we're probably gonna need the grain in any case, right? Gonna need all the grain. Ok, 
Okay, so military cost. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it. It doesn't seem like this is affected by military technology anymore. It just has a base cost, and that's it. Uh, it also doesn't seem like we can push this higher than 0.64. So, if we're training, this is basically it. All these have half experience, and I guess that's as high as we can get this. Go bump the naval range, supply range, army maintenance reduction. Hell yeah, sure. Give me that. I'm all about that money. Fleeing the dreadful war of Brutia, a number of important dignitaries have managed to escape to our lands, hoping to find refuge. Our advisors recommend against giving them asylum due to the fragile political circumstances in our region, and indeed much favor may be gained with Brutia if we were to finish their job for them. Could just kill them. But we could also just welcome them. Like, sure, welcome. Still not sure about this scorned family stuff. Like, okay, with a vault. Mm hmm. Soothsayers. We'll take all of this. They're just provincial investment costs. Sounds nice. So these guys have 767 pops now. Um, 63 territories. We have 58 pops. So basically we're not even in the same league. These guys have 400 pops. Um, 2, 1, 1, 2. 2 in every area. Whereas we got... Um, Four, three, three, two, uh, four. Okay. Touched by Hermes, Athena has seen a huge influx of traders and travelers from far and wide recently. One of our advisors jokingly suggests that we must have been blessed by Hermes himself. It might have been a joke, but paying our dues to the god might be a good idea nonetheless. It could only be a boost in long-term business, right? Uh, so we can make the most out of this. Thanks to Hermes is in order, so I could push this commerce influx. This is just five years. This is ten years. Local tax, own duration. I think this is better. Thank Hermes. I just need 200 points of military experience to move on. Hmm. Kind of thinking starting to build up the building slots might be good, but we still don't have everything in our capital, so... Let's probably go with a couple more trade routes. Plus, having more trade routes also increases the amount of pops that you can fit into this. You can see that every trade route gives us um, a 2% bonus to this, so having having a really big trade hub with a lot of trade routes uh, is pretty beneficial. Okay, a group of people originating from Aegea in Kilikia Pedius has been sent by Demetrius the first Polyrochetus Antigonet, the son of uh, uh, One-Eye, to settle down in Athena and ha has tried to convince some of our people to move to Phrygia. It seems he's hoping to gain greater control of our nation by slowly replacing our citizens with his own. Large disagreements and conflicts have occurred between the political camps of Euctemon Euctemonid and Polymon Philostratid. Euctemon has suggested barring the group of people from entering Athena, as well as making sure our own people stay in the city. By limiting what passes between our borders, we should be able to reduce the amount of influence that Phrygia has in the city. Polymon, on the other hand, is a well-known supporter of Phrygia, and he has repeatedly pointed out how we should be careful about doing things that could displease our overlord. Considering his loyalties, we are convinced this is all but a message from Phrygia. Hmm. So two of their slaves <laughs> come to us and they get two of our freedmen or we can spend some money make them mad I really don't want to lose my freedmen though that's not right no yeah no not gonna happen 
I mean, sure, we're, we're basically surrounded by Macedon at this point, so it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to stay independent even if we break away from free, yeah. But that's just why I wanna amass as much power and population and technology as possible before we take this momentous step. You know, it's not gonna be easy for sure, but this is not an easy series. I can have easy if I play one of the bigger countries, then it's just painting the map, making sure that you get there. As it stands, I don't know. I much prefer this. Shame of a governor. In the midst of a fellow season, our governor, one of our most esteemed people, held a vast and lavish party in the summer palace at Imbros. Even his most loyal subordinates were shocked by this display of contempt for the plight of the common man and have written directly to us, demanding the same that some men of justice are served. So we can ask him to pay, demand his resignation. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, dude. Sorry, my man. It didn't work out for you. We could make this guy our governor. Looks good. Okay, so what, what do we import here now? Hmm, kind of looking a little bit... Doesn't look like there's that much on offer now. If we see that we have trade route open and we can't get anything imported, we'll start uh, bumping the city building slots. I think that's a good strategy here. Fighting Buri de Benzia must be somewhere up here, I think. Yeah. Over there. All right, I guess. Oh, Macedon is also allied with Gitia. So, Thrace and Macedon are allied with Gitia. And Pergamon. So they have like some triumvirate. Actually, no, it's full. It's full parties. But Pergamon is kind of small now. I wonder if that's going to happen. They're going to be able to bring Pergamon back. The beating of hooves in the far-flung lands where the wild Scythians ride their rumors of war. A bright star has appeared promising the Dahe a new home amongst the lands to the south. Its messengers from all around bring word of preparations in the steppe. It would be wise to consider our situation. Even the stoic Greek kings should fear this threat. And an invasion of the promised magnitude has the potential to destabilize the world as we know it. So Pania, Xanthia and Pisuria become a client state of Sakia. Okay. Must be somewhere over here. Yeah, over here. Hmm. Sure. Whatever you want. It's not gonna it's not gonna disturb us over here in Athens, I don't think. They don't really have anything that they can do to us. National tax increase, not a capital import route, sweet governor loyalty. It's all very nice. I like it. So there's only wood that I can get now. Really? Come on. Okay, we'll probably have to invest in our own buildings then. Guess there's just not enough slaves going around in the world right now, so production isn't very high. Ooh, trade hub developing. The little known city of Imbros has been gathering quite a reputation as a hub of free trade. People from all origins are beginning to flock here in order to sell their wares in our land. While this is clearly of benefit to us, we should consider how best to maximize our advantage. So we can get merchants, freemen, slaves, or we can just <coughs> push the pop growth. <coughs> How long does that go? 20 years. That's actually not inconsiderable. Uh, what are we trying to do here? Academy, library. So we'll go merchants. Mm, that's going to cause a demotion. All right, religious factions in control. As long as the uh, populists aren't in control, everything's good. Gotta really make sure to not empower the populists in any form or fashion, because that's the way. That's the way into disaster. All right, I mean, things are looking good. Getting slowly but surely here to the point where we can go on the slave raids. I know it's kind of disgusting <laughs> from a moral point of view, but it is going to allow us to gain power. Because the funny thing is, like, you gain aggressive expansion if you go on a lot of slave raids. Uh, but since we have such a powerful overlord, what are they going to do about it? 
There's, there's no way they're gonna do anything about it. Now it would be nice. It would be very, very nice if they actually added support independence as a diplomatic interaction like we have it in Europa Universalis. Because then I could ask one of the big guys to just, yeah, break me out of Frigga, which that kind of surprised that that isn't a diplomatic tool that we have in here, but I'm sure it's gonna happen eventually, I hope. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we're already at 270% now in terms of efficiency. Sweet. We're already getting somewhere here. I like it. It's awesome. No! We're no longer importing grain. Why? What's happening? Vegetables? Okay, let's get vegetables from... We have a collapsing temple. Beautiful temple in the province of Lemnos has said it collapsed in a minor architectural incident. If we wish to, we could invest a little money in restoring it. Repair the temple and expand the temple complex to placate the gods. I mean, it is a religious faction currently ruling, right? So, yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Let's go above and beyond. Um, I feel like another import route might not be a bad idea, though. Like... Maybe just pushing this a little bit further is not bad. But yeah, I have to end the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. If you want to see more of this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.